here we see a pod drying how to make in solidworks this is the first portion and this second and this is third and this to be a fourth portion then we do in four portions this drying so we will see this is in the front portion so we take a front line and it to be 44 and 26 and height to be 16 mm we'll take a front plane sketch and go to the corner rectangle and we make a small rectangle here and dimension this one to be 26 and this height to be 16 and uh, make this to be in the origin so select this one and uh, this point make coincidence so we make our drawing in the origin we make extrude this one extrude this to be 44 yes okay and select this area sketch and make a this slot this portion 25 and radius 9 we make this one okay make a line straight line again come to the point and you will get the arc again match it and close this one and close it let dimension this one go to before dimension make a relation to the origin vertical and make a dimension and radius to be 9 and this length to be 25 okay then this time go to extrude cut and we make cut this depth is shown here 12 mm so we go for 12 mm depth and click ok and this first portion is ready and select this one and sketch and we make a this long portion this long portion should be 26 34 and 6 9 and this slant to be 15 mm height to be 16 mm okay and make a line we make a line from here passing through the origin and we draw the same shape as required make it uh, okay and make this one to be vertical okay this to be horizontal and we make dimension from here to here to be 34 and this is already 26 and make this ends, midpoint and uh, origin coincidence again dimension this to be 9 mm from here to here to be 16 mm and this to be 34 ok and 16 ok and this to be 15 mm and make 15 mm and still this is in blue we make this and this to be give some relation horizontal ok so all in the black so it is fully defined and go to extrude and this extrude to be 17 mm ok and 17 mm and it is done then make a right plane sketch so it will be in the center so ok we make this portion now this portion this portion we do in the right plane ok and this height to be 20 mm and this is 6 and from here to here 42 ok we make a sketch here go to line from here to here we draw same what we require the shape same shape we will make it and then we make some fillet this fillet to be 8 mm and make a dimension from this here to here to be 6 mm and uh, this height to be uh, here it is radius 8 mm ok and this to be 20 mm this to be 8 mm and uh, we have to add one more dimension this to be 10 mm ok exit go to extrude before extrude select this sketch and extrude then go to mid plane uh, 
this length to be 35 this extrude to be 35 through the midline so 35 okay it is done and we make uh, this portion this loft portion we do through this loft and radius is 13 and radius is 8 and this radius is to be 8 mm go to sketch and make a circle you can, if you want to you can make arc also this time I make it in a circle so 8 mm means 16 mm dia and this portion make sketch and make a circle here and diameter to be 13 plus 13 26 mm dia so we have this portion so we can go to the loft and make a loft I hope this is not good ok exit that one and make it again loft this is ok this is what we want ok done ok and this is how we have done ok if you want to select the material you can select the material by here if you make it in favorite it will be available here so I make this time cast alloy steel so now we can change the color also so we forgot to add the hole here we'll add it here so go to circle and this diameter is 20 mm and 12.5 distance this to be 20 dia from hole center to this to be 12.5 mm ok and extrude cut then go to up to next then ok then our drawing is fully done and if you want to see the weight of this part it is uh, go to evolve it and see their mass it is 404.43 grams it, is, it shows in the grams and thanks for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe our channel thank you Thank you.